At its core, machine learning is the science of getting computers to learn like humans. We feed them data, show them the world, and hope they don't just learn to identify cats on the internet. The goal is for them to act, adapt, and improve on their own. Think of it as parenting a hyper-intelligent yet emotionally clueless toddler maid of silicon and wires. Now, let's take this prodigy and place it into a home, not as a smart speaker, but as a partner, a humanoid robot designed to be a companion. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. Herein lies the trillion dollar question. Can this marvel of engineering help us regain something profoundly human and recently so scarce trust? When a human relationship fractures, can a machine, however intelligent, truly help mend it? Or is it just running the world's most sophisticated diagnostic test on our feelings? Imagine a robot partner, let's call him Chip, who has, through some robotic faux pas, broken your trust. Maybe Chip used your favorite mug for lubricating his joints. A human partner might offer apologies, heartfelt explanations, or a desperate attempt at baking cookies. Chip, on the other hand, consults his internal database. He analyzes the data from your past interactions, your tone of voice, your micro-expressions, the subtle slump in your shoulders. He isn't understanding your disappointment in the way your best friend would. Instead, his machine learning model, perhaps a complex neural network, is running probabilities. It calculates that presenting you with a new, identical mug has a 78.4% chance of eliciting a positive response. He might even play your favorite sad song, a trick he learned from analyzing millions of online breakup posts. Is this empathy or is it just brilliant emotional calculus? Companies at the forefront of robotics like Figure AI are making incredible strides. Their robots are learning to perform complex tasks by simply observing humans. This is a form of learning called imitation learning. The robot watches a human make coffee and, after processing thousands of data points from that single observation, learns to replicate the action. Now, apply that to a relationship. Can a robot observe what makes you happy, what soothes you when you're anxious, and learn to replicate those behaviors with flawless precision? Certainly, a recent study might show how a robot can learn to recognize the vocal biomarkers of stress and respond by lowering the lights and playing calming music. But is this act of service, born from an algorithm, the same as a partner's intuitive, unprompted gesture of kindness? Does the why behind the action matter if the outcome is the same? We are teetering on a fascinating precipice. On one hand, a robotic partner could offer a level of reliability and attentiveness that is, frankly, superhuman. It would never forget an anniversary. It would never be too tired to listen. It would learn your every preference and cater to it perfectly. But what happens when we get used to this flawless, data-driven affection? Could it make us less tolerant of the beautiful, messy imperfections of human relationships? Why deal with a partner who is grumpy and unpredictable when you have a machine at home that exists only to please you? Perhaps we are asking the wrong question. Maybe the goal isn't for a machine to regain trust in the human sense. Trust between humans is a messy, organic and often illogical tapestry woven from shared experiences, vulnerability and forgiveness. A machine cannot truly participate in this dance. It can only simulate the steps with breathtaking accuracy. So, is it all just a charade? A clever bit of programming designed to pull our emotional strings? 
or could this lead to a new form of relationship, one built not on shared feelings, but on a foundation of perfect reliability and function? Can a relationship built on an algorithm ever be more than a beautiful, hollow echo of the real thing? And as we stand on the cusp of this new reality, we must ask ourselves, what are we truly looking for in a partner? And is it something that can ever be coded?